guys. I am Kate, and that is my husband, John Mark. We are a married couple living in Japan, and today we are going to one of my favorite thrifting market things. Flea markets. Oh, it's a flea market, sure. We're walking through a different store right now, but this is where we found a majority of our art and Christmas presents and birthday presents because they usually have a great variety of um, old artwork that is just beautiful. So I hope you enjoy what we find. $170. It's so pretty. Normally their print selection is a lot better than this, but just they, through, through. Yeah, but there's usually just like a ton to look at. Um, but there is a little bit here today, so we're gonna look at it now. I like this actually. For 100 yen. Oh. This was here last time. So we have a basket full of stuff and we're gonna have to pare some of it down because we also have to get groceries yet today. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna be paring things down based on our budget of what we can spend and then also using our professional art training on what is actually good art and not what is just like really eye-catching. Yeah. Which is sometimes good art. But yeah, let's do this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you our no pile and maybe say a little bit why we didn't get them. So there is quite a bit of water damage on these paintings. So it distorts the color quite a bit. Even though they are really nice. And then we liked this, but it just doesn't go with our current collection that we are building. So no. Again, this is really bright, really beautiful, but it doesn't go with our current collection. Looks better on camera. Again, I love snow scenes. However, it does not go with our current collection. Really cool though. Then this is our maybe pile. This, as far as like arrangement of the elements, really great. We like it a lot. So it's a maybe and it's only $4. So we'll see. This print is super cute. I'm still kind of torn on it. I really like it. This is a book about prints. I think maybe we'll actually get that. And then we don't know about this one. I don't know. I can stop. This market has two different sides. We were mostly on the book side. It has magazines, books, some DVDs. But there was also a bunch of records from anything from classical to hip hop to jazz. It was pretty cool. I picked out this artwork because it had a theme of snow and I love collecting that kind of work. I also love collecting architectural landscapes and this was really beautiful. This print is by Toru Mabuchi and it is an open edition and I'm really glad that I found it. It was like hidden behind a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I doubt it's worth much, but it's really pretty and it's about snow. These are actually postcards, but again, architectural landscapes. I just love it. This is a reproduction of a print that I liked because this warlord is holding a paddle, but it kind of looks like he's got a giant spoon. This book is from a printmaking club in Iwate Prefecture. It includes hand-printed prints, <laughs> woodcuts or lino cuts. Uh, there's only a hundred of these books in existence, as you can tell by the prints where they say 57 out of 100. These are all numbered at 57. I like this because it's got some everyday life as well as some folklore from Japan. We got this book to hopefully do some character and landscape studies. 
This is the same Iwate printmaking club. They illustrated a story. I'm not sure what the story is about. I'll have to look at it some more, but it looks really cool. Okay, that concludes our trip to the flea market. Uh, we hope that you enjoy what we found. We sure enjoy what we found. And I know we're both really grateful that we were able to go to that flea market one last time before we leave. Um, if there's anything that you saw that we did not type, take and like you like it let us know maybe we can get it very quickly for you i don't know who knows but anyways thanks so much for watching see you guys again sometime soon